So this is our last example problem using the law of cosines, and this is about securing a tower. And it reads, a 125-foot tower is located on the side of a mountain and is inclined at 32 degrees to the horizontal. A guy wire is to be attached to the top of the tower and anchored at a point 55 feet downhill from the base of the tower. Find the shortest length of wire needed. Um, and so what we need to do is we need to figure out what this distance is here x and we have a side and we have a side but we don't know this angle just yet and so one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of draw in some information here I'm going to put it in green so we can see it and what I'm going to do is draw a right triangle as best as I possibly can so that I can figure out what this angle is and if this is 32 degrees and this is a right triangle, this has to be 58 degrees. And so this green angle is 58 degrees. And if I were to continue this line straight forward, because this right here, or straight up I should say, this triangle right here is what we're trying to find, this straight line makes this angle and this angle complementary. If this is 58 degrees, 180 minus 58 is 122 degrees and what's good now is I have a triangle I'm going to redraw it out here where this side is 55 feet going down the hill this side is 125 feet that's the height of the tower and then this angle is 122 degrees and I need to figure out X simple law of sines problem we're going to go the side opposite the angle given is going to be equal to the square root of 55 squared plus 125 squared minus 2 times 55 times 125 times the cosine of 122. And if I plug that into my calculator, I type all that in, I get 161.0477. So x is going to be 161 .05 feet. And if I have a guy wire that's 161.05 feet, that will make it from the top of the tower all the way down to this point, 55 feet away from the base of the tower. And so I hope that helped in terms of solving law of sines and law of cosines. Just make sure that as you go through these, you write down what you know. Try and find the angles, knowing that 180 degrees is in the three angles of a triangle. And uh, using your law of sines and law of cosines. So good luck.